Hello and welcome to Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 6th of January 2023, our first week back of this new year. I trust you all had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's break. Uh, we did as well because technically we actually went from Christmas Eve right the way after the sort of Boxing Day, was it, the 3rd of January. So it was nice to have a break. As you can see, we had a bit of a clear out down in here, sorted a load of stuff out, usual bits and pieces and boring stuff like taxes and VATs and that had to be sorted as well. So what it meant this week was really nice coming back to a nice clean bench straight into it and really feeling refreshed invigorated i spent a lot of time over christmas probably like a lot of us did on sort of social media looking at other builds what's coming out all the new sort of kit releases being spoken about uh what's due for release this year obviously got airfix's big announcement next week so we'll uh, see what they've been up to for the last year but also we've seen some other ones as well like icm's various things coming down we all got very excited about uh which we obviously spoke about in the shows during the week but yeah it was a good week sadly though because obviously it's a blank page and trying to get everything sorted i haven't actually started our first build of the year yet which is this one it's all here i've got all my paperwork lined up for it all the bits and pieces i've got my reference books as well and uh it's quite good because actually this is the scheme we're going to be doing it so we're going to do it in the aggressor in the sand scheme as well on a giant 30 second scale uh, f15c so really really good i've got a couple of bits arriving for this i'm hopeful that they'll be here beginning of the week and we can crack straight onto it so what i'm going to be doing is putting the quinta studios cockpit set into that one uh, it's the bigger set with all the electronics bays and that as well so we've got that coming down the line for it obviously got the decals coming in from the us for that one as well and then we'll be starting on this very very iconic classic kit of tamias and say this is the third time i've built it uh first one i think i just sort of rushed it if i'm honest and got it done second one i think i did a really nice job but this one doing it in the aggressive scheme and things like that as well should be nice a couple of little updates lumps and bumps things like that to bring it up to spec but basically it's going to be pretty much out of the box with this particular one it is going to be gear down panels open all the niceties with it we'll get some removed before flight chags and chocks and various things for this one so it should be very very nice indeed again it's typical tamia tamia you know sometimes they get a little bit both sides sometimes i'm thinking that's not a brilliant kit for when you think of tamia and other times i think that's classic tamia it just goes together that's classic tamia it just does what it says on the tin goes together really really nicely and you end up with a very very nice looking uh aircraft the only thing is is the price of this thing these days has gone up. as you can tell by the dust on it i've got had this for years literally kicking around and uh as i say then i got rid of it and then we got some more in through pm and i was like we'll get it back in and i'll do it so uh, it's nice to have the old kit back and working on it again so yeah look forward to this one next week we'll be starting on that pushing through with it should be a lot of fun with that all right this week though as we make our way through all started really for us on tuesday well, obviously, we were making our way with the first show of the year. So this is my Tuesday show. And really, we were talking about everything that I've been up to uh, when I went up to Doncaster, up to the PM store. I brought a load of stuff back and uh, going to go through. So what we're going to be doing on Tuesdays is bringing back sort of Tall Tuesday again. So it'll be every other Tuesday because obviously I do the uh, show with Matt as well for our little podcast show uh, on Tuesdays. But every other Tuesday, we have Tall Tuesday back. We've been doing some on tests. So first up there, you can see that's the uh, third gen Primus. And varnishes so i thought i'd give those a go uh because again it's one of those things is that i'm very very low on sort of you know flat finishes stuff like that so i thought you know what we'll try something new uh putty as well to be honest my perfect plastic putty is dried out again so i thought i'd give a whirl with something else so we've got the ak one so we'll be putting that on test uh that is the smoke uh it's amazing uh, it's probably the most used oil that i use it's one of the abtai lung um i think it's number five is it um and again i have had that tube now for well over 10 years and it's just getting a little bit out so whilst i was up there i picked up a brand new tube which I think for the amount of stuff I use with it, it just shows the good value for money that stuff is. So it just lasts. It just goes on and on and on. And it's only because it's so old now that I thought, you know what, we'll get a new, nice new one to replace it. So um, yeah, testimony. Sometimes you buy these things, they last for absolutely ever. Oil paints is definitely one of them. A good quality oil paint with a good quality thinner, worth its weight in gold, absolutely. So anyway, we've got one of those in there as well. 
And then also, if I stop waffling in this bit here, you will see I've got a load of tools. So for Tool Tuesday, I've been around the store and I've grabbed a load of stuff. Also, I'm going to order some stuff. Obviously, perhaps PM doesn't stock as well. So uh, we can do look at some tools. So if you've got any tools that you think, do you know what? Everybody should know about it. Drop me a message uh, with a contact of where I can get them from would be even better. And uh, I'll order them in and we can give them a proper on test and show and demo and all the rest of it as we've done. So Tool Tuesday is returning. You say every other tool, every other Tuesday, uh, hopefully we'll have a new product or perhaps an old favorite something else like that and we can demo and show and things like that so tall tuesday is making a return uh, Wednesday was the PM show. Uh, obviously, we were talking about a lot of the new releases that have been uh, spoken about over the last, uh, you know, obviously, well, the Christmas period uh, and things like that. Obviously, as you can see behind me, I went up to Doncaster and I brought back, was it 10 kits for review as well? So uh, expect to see these ones. We got a couple of them this week anyway, but you can see there. And generally, we're discussing about the pre-orders that are out, all the usual bits and pieces and what's going along in the uh, model industry this week. So that's free to watch. Anyone can see that one too. So if you want to pop along and watch the PM show at any point, you can see us three waffling on about what kits we would love to see and uh, what kits have come out recently. And obviously the old stuff about, you know, stocks coming in, pre-orders, all the usual bits and pieces along with that particular show. So anyway, that's your uh, PM show. That was up with you on Wednesday. Uh, last night, we had the usual back to doing the live shows on Thursday nights. So uh, basically, this particular one was a little bit different, tried a new format as well. So for this particular show, we split it in two. So the first half of the show was looking at the completion of the Greebly or the scratch building group build that finished last year. So that obviously you finished on the first. So we were going to be going through. And what we did for something a little bit different was to showcase your great work. So if I just come along here, we can see some of the ones down in here there we go, of uh, your amazing work. So we took the time to go right the way through the entire video, uh, you know, a reveal video, which you can see at the end of this show, and it will be standalone as well, which will go live uh, as soon as you get this. Uh, and we were basically discussing all your work. So it was great that so many of you finished it. It was great that so many of you sort of embraced it as well, and you did amazing ideas, uh, you know, and it wasn't just a case of, oh, well, you know, we're just, you know, a quick conversion in a lot of cases. Some of you really went to town with it and a lot of ones we didn't see. So like James here, who's put, talking about how that's half a zero and half a 190 uh, kit bashed together. So that was very nice. We've got other ones down in here, like the Flying Saucer is actually the top half of an Enterprise uh, and then complete scratch built, amazing stuff. And then right the way through to some of the really cool stuff down in here. So this is the old ICM sorry, not ICM, Esky, uh, gas van, which was reboxed by, it uh, was it Italy? Did it? Yes, it was. Uh, as well. And again, completely sort of apocalyptic version, as you can see down in there. And some really other stunning stuff as well that you guys really spent the time to go, you know, not only taking fantastic photos at the end, but thinking about that actual build right the way through. We had some amazing work in this. So please stick around at the end of the show. It's well worth it. It's going to cost you about six minutes of your life, but it was worth it because there's some absolutely fantastic stuff in there right the way through. Obviously, we had a few winners at the end of this one as well. You're all going to get your medal with bar. Uh, on that one as well. So again, Nathan's been sorting them out. There is a thread running in the forum. So if you haven't had your medal attached to your thread yet, then uh, drop Nathan a message, but there is a thread running in the actual forum for it and uh, you can see it. So again, some amazing stuff down in here. Yeah, Bang Blower, that was a beautiful one right the way through as was all your work on this as always. Uh, back end of the show, obviously we did the normal quick Q&A, answering all your questions and various topics we were discussing as well on there. So yes, that's our Thursday show that was up with you. Uh, this week, because obviously I'm still behind catching up with everything, uh, there is no video build apart up there. That will start next week. But what we did do is get two reviews up for you. So the first one was uh, the Hurricane. It said, so much was said about this Hurricane. It was one of those ones It just, yeah... People need to just to wait and get their hands on the kit before they comment, I think. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And for the price, I think it's around about 45 quid. It is absolutely a gem of a kit. It, again, it just shows how Rebel are progressing. They're getting better. When you look at it right the way through, you know, we've got all the instructions down here. You can just click on them to see it is, how it is. But again, they've got the fasteners all correct on it. It's got all the details you want without going massively over the top and at a good price point as well. And again, the plastic, the quality of it, you know, the tooling itself just shows. And they're doing a C-fire clearly because it's in here still. 
So very, very nice job right the way through this kit. Very nicely detailed. And like I've always said with a lot of the Revel new kits like this, the beautiful thing is about it is that you can actually just take it as a curbside type model, as we call them, just externals, just like that. And it's absolutely fantastic. But the great thing is it just lends itself so much to aftermarket. So I can imagine engines coming along that you'll be able to drop in because it's fully ready for it. The wings are all completely open, so you could easily put gun bays into it, bits and pieces like that, and you could just upgrade all the cockpit to your heart's content. So again, it's one of those kits where it's a good starting point and then you can go as far as you like, or just straight off the bat, it is a really, really nice kit on its own. So I highly recommend that one. I've kept one here. So uh, obviously in the future, when a little bit more aftermarket gets released for it, I can see myself doing a super build on that, just like I did with their uh, Fokker Wolf 190, because that was an absolutely fantastic kit. It's exactly the same as we would do with this one as well. So very, very nice job on there. Again, you can go off and see that review. That is in our review section. Also, it is up on uh, YouTube as well. Today's one that went up is the lovely Kinetic uh, review for their F-16. So this is their new tooled F-16, not to be confused with their other ones. Um, so again, really nice job on this. The level of detail is beautiful right the way through. It's got some very nice details, some nice sort of the texturing, the actual fine riveting, the panel lining is absolutely on a par, I think, with anything from Tamiya. It is nice. I found the cockpit detail a little bit soft uh it would have been nice to have a little bit more sharper details down in there but again nevertheless very nice and right the way through so generally it's a very very nice upgrade i would say to their old kits it's really really nice again we've got different instrument panels down in here and things like that so we are expecting other versions of this kit coming along which is really exciting about and again really my only problem i found with it i've got sync marks quite heavy ones down in here in the exhaust apart from that i couldn't really find a fault with the kit it was very very nice the only thing that's slightly disappointing was these sync marks it's very thick plastic they're molded in one um and again i think it's just showing in there so there's a couple of big sync marks in there but generally good set of weapons all the bits and pieces you get everything you'd expect from an f-16 the canopy is beautifully done that's really, really nice. It's crystal clear. The only thing is, again, you only get the clear version. Perhaps it would have been nice to get a smoke version in there. But again, the instructions all beautifully laid out right the way through, as you can see. So anyway, you can go off and see that particular review. That one is up with you on there right now. And that was about it for this week. As I said, it was one of those things catching up with all the bits and pieces. We've got a lot going on in the background, obviously members know about and things. So we've got new products coming down the line I'm working on as well with printers and design and all those types of things we're doing. But I'm really looking forward to getting on with that one. I'd say I've got some great kit reviews coming up. If you want to have a look, look at the Tuesday show. It is free to watch and I went through all of them. I've got trains down in here. I've got Jeeps. I've got helicopters. I've got everything. I've got Ghost of Keeves down there to do as well. We've got even a Sierra Cosworth. So again, expect those reviews up over the next couple of weeks as we make our way through with all of those. Uh, other things going on, obviously, at the PM store, the giant mega sale has ended now. So, uh, you know, we will be seeing what happens with that. Members, keep an eye out. You might be uh, in for a bit of a treat with that one as we make our way through. But we have got the latest releases that have popped in, obviously, over the Christmas period as well. Say so that hurricane drop just before Christmas uh, and all the other bits and pieces that have come in down in here as well. So we've got lots of new bits down in that one. There is a sale area still going on, which is our usual one. Uh, which is in here in the special offers area. Here it is. So we've got some beautiful stuff down there. We've got some of those Tamiya damage boxes, which really do make a difference. As I say, you know, some really nice discounts on a lot of these down in here. So if you do fancy getting a bargain, that's the brand new MI35. Uh, slightly damaged boxes we've got down in there. They've just got little creases and things. I won't worry about it too much. And the brand new Hercules as well. So again, some really nice stuff with Tamiya, some Svesda stuff all in here as you can see plus all the other bits as well down here on special there has been restocks we've got restocks of all the primers the fillers and all the glues your sundries your paints and all the other bits down in here with pm as well so if you want to get any of those and also we've started doing books so obviously we've got the books we are out of stock but we are getting restocks of these back in and obviously we've got a lot of the uh q a books as well which are available to pre-order on the forum at the moment so uh, but we will be stocking some of those as well in the actual store as soon as we can get those in so plenty of stuff going on around to keep you busy and that is about it for this week next week really busy gonna get some building on the go and so we get some more of those reviews up to you as well and then obviously i'll be starting to do things like tool choosies and that getting those videoed and filmed and ready to go as well uh, to make our way with all of those 
Uh, as always on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the Greebly build. So this is the one that we saw earlier on. Sit back, have a look, and again, hit the pause button because some of them, the more you look at it, you can the more you can see parts in there from other things. There's some great, great stuff down in there. So please sit back and have a look at that one. Anyway, that's it from me. Happy modeling. Take care. I'll see you all next week.